Alrighty, so it's been a fair amount of time since I've uploaded. And this is just a little fun thing I've put together here at about 3 in the morning. I was playing around with bismuth and after playing around with some of the little bits of scraps, I had remembered that it was diamagnetic. So, I tried putting a neodymium magnet just on one slab of it, nothing happened. It sort of, like I could push it around easier, but it didn't do much more than that. Um, now as I f found out, after making this little rudimentary tower here, had I have had bigger pieces, or rather bigger magnets, larger neodymium magnets, the effect would have been much greater, and I would have used thicker little ingots of bismuth, and I would have ended up with much stronger and better results, where I could actually get my finger in there and, you know, have the magnets levitating. But here's just a little rudimentary tower I made out of some uh, small Dremel buffing wheels and some grinding discs. And the reason for all the discs is to adjust the top hard drive neodymium magnets here so that the height of those was up far enough to not stick those two magnets to the top. You can see there's a gap, just ever so small of a gap between the top edge there and the reflection. Likewise for the bottom, it's a little bit larger of a gap. But these two magnets, if you blow on them just ever so softly, you'll see they float very effortlessly. Now, neodymium magnets are not demagnetized for about a hundred years, so technically, with all of their disturbances taken out of question, these are floats for about a hundred years or so before they, the magnets need to be replaced. This is just a fun little thing. It's really crude. It's not pretty in the slightest. Um, but it works. It works, and I think it's pretty fascinating. It was just a fun little put-together project I made, like I said, at like 3 in the morning. While I was just playing around with some melting business, trying to grow some more crystals. And then this popped into my head, so... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. It's a little fun project that really anyone can make. If you have some bismuth to smelt down, you don't need that much. A couple of small neodymium magnets, again, large ones will work better. And just as long as you have any way to adjust the height of the, the two ingots, to have them be able to separate just the right amount, because too much of a gap and you'll either lift it to the top or it'll sink to the bottom. And same with being able to adjust the height of the magnets on top. You know, that'll do the same thing. You'll either have them stick to the top or they will fall to the bottom. You can see right here it's a nice balance between the two. So anyway, hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll be back with some more interesting videos, but I've been awfully busy here lately. Alright, catch you later.